Change the mic. This gives that sound. It's nice, nice. <laughs> Ram, Jay, Jay, Ram, Ram. 
camino con la reducing swamiji it will be all right slowly the volume is going down right ha fan you can put up the fan no fan fan you can put up the fan are sunte ho no ma this is not so good this is not so good sorry 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 Wire, no, not cordless, Swami ji. It is uh, with the wire, but uh, fan. If you put off the fan, now you can hear. Just put off the fan. It's all the same. I got that. Oh, mobile phone. <laughs> fan you, you want fan from me huh you want to hear my voice i want to hear your voice we are in a fight so we we'll keep this off and we we'll get something i think this will function okay. now you people you are suffering is I have made it double. You have to listen to me also and no pankha also. Anand 
अत्यंत संसार समुद्र मध्ये मग्नम समभ्युधर वासुदेव अनंत सुप्रे विनियोजयस्व अनंत रूपाय नमो नमस्ते ओम अनंत 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 इज एंड अनंत इज एंडलेस एक्चुअली नो बिगिनिंग नॉट एन एंड से अनंत विच इज जनरली विद रेफरेंस टू दी आत्मन ब्रह्मस्वरूप आई यू अवेयर ऑफ दैट सो वॉट इज द अनंतता दैट यू फील अनंत संसार दिस संसार इज अनंत सम स्मॉल प्रॉब्लम इट कैन बी मिटिगेटेड इट कैन बी रिमूव वॉट एवर इम्पेडिमेंट्स वी हैव वॉट एवर ट्रैवल्स सुख दुख Endure. It is because of prarabdha. Even hunger, it's a good thing if you feel. If you don't feel hungry, then there is a problem. But if you feel hungry, eat food. It is taken care of. <coughs> so also other things. But then, with increasing maturity, and if you have had satsang, you realize a jiva can never be. appeased there is no time no situation where ha ah, this is what i have want and now i am supremely happy if a person does say that he has a long way to go that person correct he has to be understand he has to understand because the demands made by the mind the body itself as such any situation any ideal situation it is not going to be there throughout So this goes on. So invariably people forget. <coughs> They say yes, I can make the best of life. I will definitely be happy. <coughs> If there is no satsanga at that time, no correction, no guidance, a person can become very pessimistic also. But with satsanga, this is samsara, anityam, asukham, lokam. Even prapya, having got this now, bhajaswama do my bhajana in Shri Mad Bhagavat Gita. Oh, so now we start that. So in this shloka, the first ananta that is experienced by any person, any sadaka, is the samsara. Ananta samsara samudra. It is like an ocean. It is not a small creek. It's not a small rivulet. You can just you know walk across. It's not even a river. बोट कैन टेक यू अक्रॉस इट इज संसार अनंत संसार समुद्र देर आर नो बैंक्स वेरियस इन द सेंटर ऑफ इट इज अज ओशन विच वे डू आई गो हाउ फार इज इट वेरी डिज ओरिएंटेड नथिंग आई कैन फील द बॉटम टू गो ऑन सफरिंग गो ऑन अटेंटिंग टू जस्ट कीप माई नोज आउट ऑफ द वॉटर दैट इज संसार दैट इज वॉट हैपन्स एज अ साधक प्रोग्रेस अनंत संसार समुद्र मध्य मग्न समभ्युधर हे वासुदेव हे वासुदेव समभ्युधर हर हरण किया रिमूव टू कवि स्नैच उत्थर उत्तनाम ब्रह्म ब्रह्म उत्थर उद्धार किया उद्धार सो Remove me from this. Remove me, not plunging me further into this samudra, samsara, but extricate me. Remove me from this. And then, what if you forget, get bored, and again drop me in this? Samabhyudhar, samyaru, abhyudhar, avida, udhar, avida, parit, avida. From all, in all manner, in all respects, remove me from this samsara. This is the prayer. Because I am jitta in this, I may be just floating or keeping my head out of water. But how long can I continue with this? So now we begin to know what we are doing. Maatri. So mature sadhaka begins to feel that. So his prayers also change. We approach God. Give me this. Give me that. Remove this, etc. 
but when you realize needs are never going to be fulfilled, then you start addressing God. It's just you and your Ishta Devata. Anything else has, doesn't have that much relevance. That is secondary. Yes, I need a job, I need this, my um, family members, they should all be happy, etc. My kartavya, my duties I should fulfill, all that is there, but that is secondary. So first, you samabhyodarhe vasudeva, remove me from this samasara. Good prayer, both make sense. One, the fact that you are getting just immersed in this, with no hope of extricating yourself, there is no bank, there is no end to this. So only divine help can help, be of any use, and you can be looking at That is what prayer. But then, Ananta Sutre Vinyojaya It is an intelligent sadhaka. It says, Ananta Sutre Vinyojaya You are there everywhere. You are Ananta. So I see the samsara, Nama Rupatmaka. I am aware of myself as a jiva. I am not aware of my Shuddha Swarupa as Brahman. So I pray to you. But then, how do I go about it? There is a way. Ananta Sutre Vinyojayasva. Connect me to that Sutratman that you are. That Lord who is in everything. Actually, it's not in everything. He manifests everything. But right now, we have to be aware of that fundamental truth that is in everybody. Sutravati are there. And it is not just in everybody, in every situation, everything that I am accosted by. Correct? Our senses bring us this Namarut Padmaka Samsara and we are seeing this Idam and me and I am getting lost. I invoke you. <coughs> guide me, guide me. That is the prayer. Ananta Sutri Vinyoja Sri Vinyoja Yaswar. Connect me to that. How do that? How do you connect? That is why you do all the Ramnam, etc. I can ask you to ask me. Then I can ask you to ask me. Then I can ask you to Ananta Sutri Vinyoja Yaswar. Then I will have the Adhikara to say Ananta Rupaya Namo Namaste. Otherwise, the Ananta that I am seeing is only the Samsara. How can I see the Satchitananda Swarupa which is Ananta? I want that. So first, don't let go of me. I will head on to your feet. May this connection never be broken. And connect me. Connect me to you in everything that comes to me. That is Arvipasana. So for that we have Smarana. Nama Smarana is there. You have to have Satsanga. You have to have the Mahapurusha Samsharaya. That is where you get clarity or buddhi understands. There is something more. Having got a human life, I am entitled to understand my Shiva Swarupa, my Brahma Swarupa. That will kindle that flame of Mumuksha. Okay? And then, sustained sadhana. So you have smarana. I think I had taken this last time. Smarana is your remembrance. So, you are given a mantra. It's a power capsule. Whichever Bijakshara, it can be a big mantra. Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. You chant it and then you practice chanting it at a mental level also. Correct? At that time your breathing pattern changes slightly tucked in, gentle diaphragmatic breathing and the mantra goes on. All agitation of the mind etc. is just stopped with tremendous conviction. I will sit for your japa, morning sun, special time, alone, ekanti. There you decide, I am going to sit, do, your, do my japa. That is the smart. we can go into that later. The Anusmarana is very, very important. Anukshana, Pratikshana, Smarana, the remembrance. And that is when you are dealing in Vyavahara, in Vyavahara, Vyavahara itself. That is the Anusmarana. That is very necessary. At that time, you can't do loud Japa, right? But because you have been practicing your Japa, and you have already had Satsanga, when you are dealing, 
you start seeing the world in a different manner. Maybe that certain occasions would when confronted or in that situation you become tense and all. Now that goes off. Why? Because you are doing Anusmarana. I have been, this has been created for me. Do you understand this? Because of my prarabdha. But then there is that divine element in this with me. So I am going to remember that and then respond to this situation. It's a very nice thing. That is the Anusmarana. And what that brings about is actually purification, antak karna shuddhi. Because when you go back, you will think of what has happened, how you have behaved, etc. And slowly, you get your biofeedback and say, Oh, I used to panic or I used to get on the defensive or I used to get irritated. And this time it didn't happen. Wow, one accomplishment. So there is something I can, you know, I can become a better person simply by the Anuswarana. Make sense? So that Anusmarana is extremely important. The awareness that the Lord is with you, it may be through your mantra. The Akhandata, the Anuntata of your Ishtadevata, you have not yet seen, you have not yet felt. But this link is enough. That presence, awareness, that is the Anusmarana. Example, simplest example. We have our youngsters, they are always on phone. So, let's say some five or six of them are sitting, we are discussing something and then I have some questions, we are making some plans, we'll do this, we'll do that. Okay, what about that? If I go there, how many people? Whatever, my question. They don't have the answer. One of them picks up his phone, calls his friend, checks out. He's speaking and then suddenly, oh, yes, yes, I am with Swamiji, how did you know? <laughs> His entire behavior, the way he is talking, that fellow has sensed. Otherwise, he would have said, hey, or something like that. Now he is talking so politely over the phone that <laughs> man knows he is sitting in front of us. <laughs> Presence. Now that can be invoked. You don't have to go docile, but you can be strong. In the Anusmarana. Vyavahara is going on, but there is one element of your own Atma, which is, or Buddhi I should say, which is now aware of that presence. They have been granted that. It has been awakened in you. Ishwara Sarva Bhutana Vritya Ishwara is there, you don't have to invite him, he is already there. But it has been invoked. Your Buddhi has been sent in by the Guru's touch, by his Sankalpa. That is the Anusmarana Vidu. So when a person does Anusmarana, he says, the samsara is there, but you are also there, Ota Prota. So I want to feel you. Ananta Sutre Vinayojaya. So let me connect. Sutra is again, it's a continuity, isn't it? Continuity means there is rasata, even in anything. If you understand the full episode or the story, there is joy in it. If you just understand 50%, I understood this much, I understood that, but then finally I don't know what, what was implied. If you understand everything, there is ah, joy. So, Sutravata, I want to understand the purpose of life, the meaning of life, not just this life, life itself. And you are life, you are the Anantata. So, first connect me to that. Let us make this journey our journey. So, holding the hand of the Guru, the Guru walks just one or two steps ahead. Ishtadevata is the Lakshya. The Guru walks with you. That assurance you get. So that Shakti, we invoke it as a Shakti. Ananta Sutre Vinyojayaswa. Connect me to that. Ananta Rupaya Namo Namaste. Then I will be able to say, really everywhere I perceive you. You are in my heart. I am part of you. I am you. Much, much beyond what is perceived also. So this is something you come here to understand, appreciate on this occasion. Pranam Swamiji was just telling me, 24th of December onwards, the official celebration, commemoration of the Sanyasa Jayanti of Papa Swami Ramdas begins. Great. So we never know when the Shiva Sankalpa happens. His life initially as 
proper phone, whatever. I was very unhappy. But it was not just Prarabh, that was a tremendous desire, Vairagi. At that time it was not understood, not appreciated. But then we saw that blossoming. Total Sharanagati. Don't attempt it. We won't be able to sustain it. But something we can revere. We made the goal. We attained. And the full blossoming of that is what we celebrate. Sanyasa. Samyat Nyasa. Nyasa is whatever. The place in trust. Even the Hindi the translation of trust is Nyasa. So place in trust. So what do we put our trust in? It is for each sadhaka to um, check out in God. Finally in God we place our trust. But right now, whatever, help. Then okay. No problem. So we accept where we are. But that sannyasa is final. You and you alone. Nothing else matters. That conviction, that fire is the culmination of sannyasa. So that has been exemplified here in this Pavitra Ashram. And <coughs> what do you do with that fire? How do you approach it? For me, what matters most is Mataji's presence. Because when she came as a Shishya, how will we understand the Guru? We can revere, listen, take Adesha, Upadesha and go about it. But a practical demonstration of what is Shishyatva has also been brought out so beautifully. I have already spoken on this the last time, so I don't want to go into it. But remember that. Let that be your aspiration. The purest of the pure. Complete dedication. Anabeksha Shuchir Daksha Udasino Katadhyathara Sarvaram Bhaktaritiyadi Yomat Bhakta Sane Priya. We all want to be Bhaktas. So, how do we define it? I am a better Bhakta, or that person has more Bhakti. Why don't we ask that for whom we have Bhakti? So, in Srimad Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna, as Narayana himself says, Same Priya, Anapeksha. There are qualities of a bhakta. So here he says, Anapeksha, Shuchi, Daksha, Udasina, Gatavyatha, Sarvaram Bhaktaritiyagi, Yomad Bhakta, Same Priya. Yes, bhakti is there. But what are the other gunas? I would love to see in my bhakti anapeksha. Apeksha. What is apeksha? Expectation. Hmm? Expectation. Huh? Expectation. Expectation. Very nice. Expectation. Anapeksha. No expectations. No expectation. Shuchi. Clean. Shuddha. Daksha. Efficient. How? Okay. You want to. Daksha. Uda, Sina. Uh, uh, not deeply involved. But, but efficient. <laughs> <laughs> not not after something. But doing it perfectly. I do it. But if it doesn't happen, also don't know. <laughs> like writing an exam, you don't know whether you pass or fail. <laughs> so we keep leave it to God. I think we are not after anything, I think, Swamiji. Udasina means you are not after anything outside. We are not greedy. I don't know what you are, but you should not be. But still, that is the Bhala Kangsha. Disinterested in unreal. Good, good. Disinterested in? Unreal. Wow. Rise above. Rise above. Yeah, but just see the sequence and good. It is a Vimarsha that is going on. <laughs> vimarsha, no? What Vimarsha means is brain stress. Very, very necessary. We know the meaning. But then when there is a group discussion, something more comes out of it. And that is very, very necessary. Prakasha and Vimarsha. Prakasha is just the Artha that you have got. When you do Vimarsha, 
how does it apply to me? How, how can I make it applicable? In theory, I know. So that Vimarsha process is very, very important. The Guru gives Prakasha. So the Shishya doesn't know Vimarsha. He'll go around with theories and then it doesn't work out. So Anapeksha is the first one. Not too many expectations. That is a very, very difficult thing. It is not just fruit. It is even among sadhakas. This is what I want to do. I am good at this, so only this seva I will do. And why is that person been given this seva when I want to do all these apekshas also have to do? It's not just the phala kamshi. Anapeksha, that swachata that comes like a child. And that is again exemplified by Swami Ramdas. That is why I have just taken this shuk. Anapeksha, shuchi. But it doesn't mean he neglects that sadhaka. He won't neglect his duties. So there is shuchit. Then Shuddhi. Bhakya <coughs> Shuddhi and Antara Shuddhi also. The Antakaran Shuddhi also comes. <coughs> and because that Shuddhi is there, the Dakshata comes. Dakshata is again efficiency. So you have a skill set. In what you do, you have to be efficient. But now this is Yomad Bhakta Samedri. It is at a spiritual level that this is being discussed. So what is the Dakshata in that is expected? A quick understanding, appreciation of, okay, if I have to deal with a particular situation, I'll have my skill set, I'll own that skill set, correct, and I'll do the work more efficiently every time. But that is not all. Something more is expected. Because we have the karana, shuchi, shuchitra is there, the dakshata will be at a different level, the yoga dakshata. Yoga dakshata is to remain connected. And then what disconnects you from God? It is not actually the external, it is the ragadvesha, the reactions that come in the antakkarna. So that dakshata also has to come there, shuddhi, and that removal, efficient, merciless <coughs> understanding, not analysis, understanding, oh, 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 careful, here something else has happened. Anapeksha, shuchi, daksha, I am doing my work, then go back to anapeksha again. Why? As I told you, why has that person been given this beauty which I would have liked to do? So we'll go back to another thing. That's not my job. I have to learn. So that is the dakshata you are getting, the shuchitva again you are getting. And that dakshata is extremely important. If you fool yourself, it will be disastrous. What is it? What is it that is motivating me? Is it a competitive spirit or what? Here I don't require. In this sort of an environment, let me just be buoyed up by love. Let that love draw me. So mercilessly to cut away. Because we have come with samskaras, lifetime with lifetimes of samskaras. So that dakshata is expected. Very quickly you understand, oh, oh, this is money, this is my mind fooling me. Nothing doing. Relax. And take a deep breath. Let go of that resentment or jealousy, whatever, which is almost inevitable. We talk about Kama, Krodha, Loha, Moha, Mata, Matsarya, as the Shadra Poos. But in a congregation or when sadhakas get together, invariably I find it is Matsarya that is the stupidest and worst hindrance. You know what is Matsarya? It's so easy. tell what it is, we don't know. This is nobody wants to tell. Jealousy, jealousy, so easy. Efficiency and all those good. Jealousy, jealousy. We call it J. J. In short. Isn't it the stupidest thing? Yes. I am happy, but then I feel somebody is happier than me, then I will become sad. It is so stupid. But unfortunately, and that becomes the biggest path. So this dakshata also we get to remain connected so that the shats, ritus are dealt with and the sadhana chatushtai, the vairagya etc. is given place and nurture it in my heart. So that dakshata also happens. And then your skill set will improve. Tremendous work. You become a nimitta. Anapeksha, shuchili, daksha, udasi. Udasi. Um, Udasina means uh, not deeply involved. 
No, positively indifferent. Wow, wow, very good. Swamiji. 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 It is cult to see Swamiji. No, basically, what do you think? Means, you have no... No, you don't have Raga Dvesha. You don't have Raga Dvesha. I think that is Udhasina. Dislike will be almost Jogopsa, which you cultivate towards the sense objects. Here it is Udhasina. So you can understand Asina, Kashtit, Asanopari, Asina Vyakti. Ut Asi, Ut Nam Brahma. Rise above the situation and then you can view it from a different perspective. If you are still embroiled, then all these other things, this interest and all will come. And that also becomes a very sad thing. You are supposed to be, you can still take an interest. I am doing it, I like it. Somebody else takes the mic and starts singing. That person is singing very well. You become Udasi. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy that. So, you should find happiness in whatever comes to you, whether you like it or not. Now you are going completely off that. Let's stick to the karma. Okay? That discipline has to be there in Vimarsha. So, put us in trying to understand that. A long, long time ago, when I just want to. I got a snowman. Mount Abu with the Bade Swamiji, we say Ishwara and Giriji Maharaj. So it was a privilege to go out for a walk with him. And there it used to be walks in the jungle. So we went there. So I still remember we went off the road. Then there was a valley, we go down and then into the jungle. But once you went down, there was a small village there. All village, kacha kacha kacha, a lot of children this night. And you would pass that and go into the jungle, then come back. So on the return we crossed that, we came to the top where the, we met the road, so we perched on a boulder there, just to take some rest for five minutes, it was a stiff climb. And I was sitting there, it was getting dark, so it was beautiful, very relaxed, very happy. And uh, the sounds from the village, they said, tum, 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 they have a big thing on the cows they put the bell. Some children probably crying in the background, settling down. Evening time, Sandhya Vela. Everything chant or that sort of thing. So it was beautiful. So Bade Swamiji just looked at me and said, from here it is beautiful. <laughs> if you are there, then it will be hell. <laughs> so physical distancing made that difference. But we have that happening even in our, as children grow up. It is unfortunate that we forget we are still children and we also have to be very careful. For a, a four-year-old child and a seven-year-old child, siblings, what happens? A seven-year-old child has been, okay, for three years it was fun. Now this other fellow has come in the picture and he's told, he is your younger brother. If he is crying, you give that to him of unhappiness. But put us in. When he learns, okay, no problem, I have something else to do, etc. Then the child can grow. Otherwise it is just endurance. Learn to give, learn to give. There's a lot of pain. It is like titiksha. It is tapas. But the udasinata comes when I am also done with this. Now let this, my younger brother have this. And I have something else to do. Makes sense? So literally you have something else. So, as adults also, in any situation, Udasina, this much we are completely involved. And if you have to cut away or given something else at that time, relax, enjoy and encourage what is happening. Be happy with what is continuing even without your <laughs> interference or whatever. Then you will be Udasina. Otherwise, you will still be stuck at that level. You have risen above it. So, we get a lot of options. Opportunities to become Udasin also correctly. Especially in a small environment like an ashram, etc. Good work is happening, you are happy. You've been handling it, fine. Somebody else has been given that job, maybe even doing it better, be happier. 
If you can, then you are really Udasi. Otherwise, it is an attitude, it is a very good thing, it is a disciplining of the mind, but there is a lot of pain. That should go. Once that goes, you are not just moving away, you are rising above that. Now, the same siblings, if they are fighting, if they are struggling, the mother is all harried, goes there and says, she also starts yelling, and it's going to be a big mess. She has to be objective. So, Udasi, Gata Vyatha. And because of this, Gata Vyatha, Vyatha that is there. Vyatha is of various here. Chinta Vila Parahitam, Satiti Kshanigar Vyatha, Sahanam Sarvadukkhana, Apratikara Purvakam, without any reaction, so to say, you can have to respond, but not react. Mean Chinta and Vila. Chinta is what will happen. If I don't say, I'll be further neglected, etc. All these fears are there. So then you don't know when to speak and when not to speak. That is a problem. And then you say, how will I get that? Use your intelligence. Connect to God and then you will slowly learn. You may make mistakes also. Karma is always Vodhana is there in karma. You think you have done something correct, others don't accept. After three years you say, oh, I could have done better. It's a progress. doesn't matter. But Udhas, you know, Gatavyatha. What has been accomplished, it is good because do, doing the Anusmarana, I did it so I can offer it now. Whatever contamination is there, it can just go because my Sutravat Anusmarana was always there. Before I started the work, in that turmoil of what should I do, etc., I still connected, kept myself connected. Now that I have come out of it, what remains is my connection with you. That is the best thing. Then you feel that joy. Gatav Yatha, neither worrying about or not unhappy about, no regrets and no worries. Gatav Yatha, from whom, a person from whom all the Yatha is gone. It is the Lakshada of a Siddha Bhakta. Sarvarambha Paritya. Then we come to this. We will come to appreciate, commemorate Sanyasa. Sarvarambha Paritya. Arambha is karma. He gives up all karma. Sarvaram Bhaktarityagi Yomad Bhakta Samyapriya Of course, a component is a Bhakti should be there. It is not analyzing the mind and taking some decisions, not a psychological cleaner for something. Because then finally, what are, you, what are you doing there? You get rid of all your inhibitions and worries and all and then still you are in samsara. But Bhakti is there, then these are all the releases. Sarvaram Bhaktarityagi Yomad Bhakta Samyapriya that is the prarthana we do, even on this day, on a special occasion. I just pray that we are guided, all of you, by the fire that was Mataji, because she demonstrated how to approach this. All these qualities come out in her life. You understand that? And they were already achievements in her life. They had become swabhava of uh, Papa of Swami Ramadas. So what we saw was just the pure enlightened soul. We didn't demonstrate. But how to approach that and what are the qualities that have to come in a sadhaka were brought out by Mataji. That is why that connection is extremely important. The vimarsha of the prakasha. How do you understand the prakasha? How does it become meaningful to you? That experiment has to go on and on and on. So then you become strong, the purification happens and then you shut your eyes and samsara has kept out. Hmm. Why is it that people can't do japa? Invariably it is because at least they claim samai nahi no time. That's partly an excuse. Okay, on some occasions you get up late and you realize you have to rush off to office, I can understand. But then you compensate, do it at night. But missing or not able to sit for japa and all, and giving all reasons, no, it's just the antakarna. All these qualities are not there. There may be intensity, there is a lot of satsanga that has been done, there is a deep desire also for liberation. Mukti chanya, moksha chanya. Something is not coming out well. So then we practice. Whatever has been, ex whatever experiment, is all ex an experiment for a jiva to purify himself, whatever he is getting is prarata. It is the only orientation. <coughs> Otherwise, it is like what you are saying, no phala kamsha. What do I have to achieve? 
Thing. So only things I have achieved in my past life, I may have become Indra also in some lifetime. No value at all. Punara pichana nam, punara pichana nam, kshene punni. So in this I am not going to get fooled. So here I am very very clear, I am connected. Sutravat, it is always there in all my vyavahara. And then when I leave vyavahara, when I sit in my japa, yes. So there you have to practice. Your breathing, posture and all is extremely important. If you learn to breathe correctly, the Guru Smarana, I think last time I had mentioned, very traditional uh, practices. The Guru Smarana, you are this, I am sitting for my Japa, this and Ashtana. Immediately from there, you get that Shakti, it comes like Agni, red fire around you, protects you. Nothing negative can hit you at that time. Then you can do the Anusmarana of the Paduka, Guru Paduka. Guru Paduka represents the entire parampara, not just your Guru Sukhusi. That means it goes beyond the personality, it is pure Shakti. And because it is the liberating power, the Padukas, all the Devatas, all what I mentioned, the Devatas of this place, etc., they are also impressed. And they are doing the puja of those Padukas. And all that Amrita comes from purifying you. Visualize that, hold that for a few seconds. Very, very strong visualization, whatever your Ishti Devata. <coughs> that Amrita is cascading, it's going through and through, removing all the dross, all the negative that is there, all the pain, etc. Purified, completely purified. And still you are aware of yourself as an individual. So how am I aware of myself as an individual? I can understand, I can feel, I can do. Start purifying that. In my Muladhara, I am Vijayaya place. Because that's the source of Kriya Shakti. Kriya has been going on. But now, intelligent Kriya. I am Vijam, I do the Pradeshta. So whatever I do, it will be with intelligence, with awareness, with Anusmarana. I am Akasha. So my indifference doesn't become dryness. It can happen very easily. Sadhakas have continue and feel they haven't achieved anything. There are great sadhakas we see in their life. Suddenly they feel importance has not been given to me. I have been neglected. There's so much pain. Sudden dryness can come. No. I'm going to cherish all those emotions. Only thing, all that emotional power is now going to be converted into bhakti, robust energy. For one minute or a second, be aware of the Agnya Chakra where the Jiva, your attention waits for the Agnya of the Guru. Don't mystify this too much, just be aware of this and then immediately, Shreem Purnata Bija. All that I understand, etc., I offer my Kriya Shakti, Icha Shakti, Jnana Shakti. I offer everything again at the feet of the Guru. Me, 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 all oh, this is being offered. Because me can't be cut aside. So I'm like, please remove my ahankar. What is your ahankar? You are ahankar only as a jiva. <laughs> Laukik ahankar we can deal with. But that um, I am different, the Lord is different. This is only born of Ajnana. So that whole that Ajnana, whatever thing is that me, I offer as myself, complete offering. Then you take care of it. You remove this Ajnana. You remove this Brahma that I am different. One, three, four times you utter that, then go back. Be aware of only your gentle breathing and the tremendous intensity on one hand, where the mantra japa is going, the buddhi is doing the japa. And you have to take a sankalpa and sit and do this. Manni lagta hai, you know, chatter goes on, chatter goes on. But for a prouder sadhaka, for a sadhaka who has been practicing, what is it generally? It is just chatter, isn't it? Just chatter. What, is, what sort of chatter goes on? <laughs> Don't tell me anything, <laughs> but it's the same thing, nothing much. I should have done this, but then he said that. And you have started some discussion, arguments with yourself or with somebody and it is just going on. So initially when you sit itself, you make the sankalpa. 
I'm not going to do this because this is not going to benefit me. It is only my ego, my asmita, my pettiness that is trying to protect itself. I have been shaken by something somebody has said and I am trying to justify that what I have done is correct. That is all. That is the chapter that goes on. Just discussions like this when you try to do japa. So first conviction is I am not interested in protecting myself. This me is such a shudra me. It is I myself have no respect for this. Aham, I have offered myself to the Guru Pas. So only the answer is intellectual conviction is required. Then the correct breathing. Then your emotional content, your bhakti, etc. And then you do your japa. And so on. To just go deep. And a great saint was asked, Maharaji, dhyan kya hota? What is dhyan? You were silent for a long time. Then he said, so When you go into water, dupte ho, geherai, deeper and deeper and deeper. Suddenly everything changes. And you feel so good. So depth, you feel. So if you have a sense of depth when you go deeper into dhyana nothing else makes any difference all your thoughts etc are getting cut off there is an overpowering sense of silence and peace yes. Guru Chakra yes. well. so from the Vaikhari level of whatever mantra you are doing it goes into Madhyama at that time the breathing has to be very nicely going on very gentle so without moving your tongue, lips you don't move, but even the tip of the tongue or anything, some movement, no movement. The mantra goes on very powerful. It is protected because your pranayama is correct. So all the other vicharas, the Vedi says, no, 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 chop. So it goes deeper and deeper. At Pashyanti, it is even more divine. There you are now aware of how much time you have been sitting for chapter, etc. So these these are our core disciplines of our Sanskrit. So you have seen the saints. They used to sit for hours and reading Papa's whatever. He would go, he would walk. He would not know whether he is going to get food. He never had any expectation. Somebody comes, somebody gives. Somebody does. Then again he goes to the cave and says, yes, that is what I'm doing. So we have to practice that. So on a day, 24 hours at least twice, if we sit, with a firm conviction that this is my guha and this is my hith guha, I am going to feel that silence and in that silence it is just the ishta mantra that is going on. That is the mm. guru mantra and that alone matters to us. Aham Brahma yourself in that. So on this occasion, let us understand the depth of, the strength of the renunciation which we are commemorating the sannyasa. Our conviction, our complete trust only in the spiritual ideal. Everything else actually is coming because of our prarabdha, but because of that divine sankalpa, everything is coming to give you ut-asinata, udasinata. Lift you out of this. So you are not struggling to maintain your balance. You are really becoming, oh, this has only this much value. It's that sort of a group. It's not saying, I like it, but then, Okay, that initial sacrifice is there, but as early as possible, oh, why was I so troubled? I have risen about that. That Udhasinata let us get. That is what we can aspire for. And that itself will take us to the Guru Chani where it is Sanyas. Yes. Complete offering of one's own self. Let that happen. That is what I pray. On behalf of all of us on this beautiful occasion, in this Kshetra, Kshetra Mahima. Hmm? Can we do a small bhajan now? <coughs> Next, what is the program? 11.30. Anam, Anam. Anam, Anam. Anam, Anam.
very quickly attain to that in this sankalpa. You can meet on this auspicious occasion with the sannyasa jayanti. May my vyasa, all my trust, may be at the feet of the Guru. That's all. Then I'll be taken beyond. And I can. It is my birthright. Usually. That conviction should be there. After all, it is my own swarup. I have forgotten it. It is Agnana. I can't remove that Agnana, but I am not going to cling on to it at least. Let it go. This conviction, with this conviction, we do whatever upasana, sadhana that is being done. And pray that in this life itself, we receive the highest Atma Anubhava to the feet of the Guru. Om Nandanto Sadhaka Sarve Vinashyantu Shakaha Avastashnam Ravinestu Prasannostu Guru Sada Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramayaha Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makashchit Dukha Mahmaya Om Shanti 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 Om Namah Parvati Patvaya Har Har Mahadeva